on equal terms today, but the difference may just be striker straight. And the son of Ken, uh, Ka Karari, rather, is out of the uh, Priolo Mare Cantari. And uh, this one, trained by Toby Spies, is owned by Mr. X Spies and is out the maiden ranks. Kankari unbelievably kept rolling from cell high. Third was close, maybe Nimitz, ahead in fourth of Tunnel of Love. I just got that photograph coming through. Kankari and Selhai involved in a duel at the line and the victory to Kankari by a short head. Second uh, to Selhai. Confirming third has gone to Nimitz. Tunnel of Love fourth. Paw Patrol fifth. Imperial Ruby sixth. And returning to the winner's enclosure, short head win for jockey Pierre Stradham aboard number eight, Kankari. This one for the Toby Spies yacht, owned by Mr. X Spies and bred by the Favour Stat. Kankari's a three year old bay gelding by Karari. It's out of the Priola Mare Kantari, having his sixth race course appearance. It's gone the way of Kankari, beating home a short head. Uh, to number one is Sell High. Third was number 10, Nimitz. And the fourth placing, number four, Tunnel of Love. The fifth stake was 11, Paw Patrol. And then came Imperial Ruby, number six. Well done to the winning connections. A speech stable winning race one.
First leg of the bipods, and uh, we talk about those magical moments and what a ride we've just seen to open up proceedings. Tremendous ride, Pierre Stratum. Well done to Turby Spears, Francine Odia at hand as well, and of course, everybody concerned. Number eight, King Kari gets the job done and strikes. I said it to you off air. They can bring who they want in the world to try and match it with you. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Uh, I think as a jock we make a bit of a difference, but uh, not a hell of a difference. So you need to have the horse. And uh, obviously uh, we had the right horse. We were drawn a bit, a bit wide. There wasn't a lot of pace and uh, discussed it with a yard and a parade ring. And it was nice that they agreed with uh, what I had in mind. And then the race just planned out very well for me. Nice even pace up in front. And uh, when they moved up, you found a little bit more? Yeah, um, I think uh, a lot of jockeys they want to go to the front and go slow. Obviously, then comes a bit of a sprint, and the back markers challenge you too early. So you've got to go a, a fair clip, and then uh, hopefully horse is good enough. I mean, at the end of the day, you can ride the perfect race, and if horse is not good enough, you're not going to not going to not going to win. So, thank you very much for the speed shot. Great job. Horse is obviously very well and, and very fit. So, thank you very much. Strikes. I know that played your part for the uh, sports live show. Uh, two rounds left. It takes two and Toro del Oro. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, even before this race. Uh, I don't know what the stable, if they knew something, but from on form, only on paper, I can just say that, that the form wasn't there, if you look at um, the betting as well. Uh, and the same goes for the next two, so uh, I'm just hoping maybe I can crack another Strikes, I know I'm a youngster in the game, so it's an honour and a privilege to see you uh, doing what you do best, that's riding winners. I mean, we watch Frankie de Tori, we watch them all around the world, but uh, you are exceptional. Thank you, I appreciate those kind words. Super stuff, enjoy the afternoon, Strikes. Hope to chat to him later on. Well done, Mr. Spice. I think um, we don't often uh, see rides like that, and uh, you must have uh, really had a big smile on your face when you see a striker. Yeah, yeah, definitely so. And uh, I usually say the horse is good enough to win in spite of the jockey, but this time I must admit I think that the horse won because of the jockey. Super ride, of course. Um, going, he already said that he uh, made up his own mind. He was going to go to the front. And uh, last time out, um, things didn't quite go according to plan. He stopped in the closing stages, but I think it was the striker magic that kept him rolling. Yeah, definitely. I agree with you there. Yeah, the instructions to, uh, uh, to the jockey was that uh, just read the race and ride according to what you read. And he did it extremely well. Uh, uh, he really did, did a very nice race. Great to have you out here at the Vol, Mr. Spice. I know that you had quite a few runners a bit later on. Uh, what can the guys include? Uh, I think uh, True... Uh, what's the name? True Charm. True Charm. I think True Charm is possibly our best chance further on in the afternoon. And a horse like Miss Khalifa, must she have an each-way chance? Each-way chance, maybe, yes. Super yeah. stuff. Yeah. Good to have you in town, sir. And uh, once again, always great to chat to you. Uh, thanks very much. And thanks to my uh, uh, grandson, Zander. Congratulations to his win. And may, may there be many more. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Enjoy your afternoon. Thank you so much. Lovely, Mr. Spears. Good to have him on course this afternoon. Well done to Pierre Stratum. That was out of the top draw. Of course, um, me being a youngster, and I'm sure many out there uh, would agree with that. Uh, we get to watch uh, Frankie de Tori, Ryan Moore, all the greats around the world. But I've always said it, the blonde bomber, bring what you want. They won't match strides with him. Uh, probably one of the best jockeys at judging pace, and he's hit the nail on the head over here. He's got number eight, Kankari, over the line in front under a Superb ride. The bar pot is underway. We've got the PA starting next. That pool at about 300,000 Rand. I think we'll go close to eight, 900,000. There's two potential bankers later on. I'll obviously touch on that uh, as we go through the afternoon. But sit back, relax, and enjoy what's to come. track at the Vol. Tunnel of Love into gate 11. They set to race in the first and they're racing away to a good enough beginning.